There we go. Nice little draw there. Hit that one about as good as I can hit it. What is a good, solid, straight golf shot? It really just comes down to three things. We gotta have a weight shift, so we gotta get that weight starting to the left. If our weight shift is off, the body and the arms aren't synced up, there's no way you're gonna be consistent. Number two, I have to get it in the slot. I have to get it from the inside. If I'm starting down steep, no way to make it happen. I have to get that weight shift and get that club shallowing out so now that it's on a plane that I can swing very uniformly down through the shot, hit it very consistent that way. And then finally, I have to release the face. When I come down, I can't be holding this face off like this. I can't be trying to guide the club down the, the target line or there's just no consistency. I have to be able to release this club the right way so that the face turns on over and ideally, you can get a really, really straight shot or a nice little tight draw, which is what most players like to play. So let's go over each of those. There's a very intuitive way of doing each one. Now I've got a little squishy ball here. You can do anything. You could uh, put a, a rolled up towel. You could use a tennis ball, whatever you want. This one just kind of squishes a little bit. It's got a nice feel. You can really feel the weight shift there. Now I'm gonna give you a very intuitive drill to get that weight shift to left. Well, when I start my downswing, this is the key. I don't really mind too much what your backswing is like. Everybody has a little different fingerprint, a little different style in the backswing. There's tons of players in the PGA Tour that have very different backswings, have a great downswing. What I care about and what really matters is that as you start that downswing, I want a little bump with your weight. I want that, that weight to be going to the left and you're gonna feel like you're opening your body as you're doing that. So if I was gonna make a baseball swing here and I had the, the, the bat a little vertical like this, as I start my bump to the left in golf, I get a little weight shift as I do that, my body starts to open up. So you see how my knees pivot. This right knee goes forward to the target. Left knee kind of goes back out of the way. As that's happening, that's gonna get the momentum moving to the left. You'll see my belt buckle goes from here and starts to open up, turn toward the target. My hands and my shoulders start to move toward the target a little bit. But watch what happens to the, the shaft of this, what would be a bat or a golf club in this sense, is as I start to do that, it shallows out a little bit. Now, when I press into this golf ball or this squishy ball, tennis ball, rolled up towel, whatever you want to use, I can automatically feel that happening. So I'm doing that same move, and for me, I'm, I'm pushing that into the ground. That's ensuring that as I'm starting my downswing, that's a really intuitive way to feel the weight shift. Again, I don't mind if you set up a little this way, a little bit that way. As long as you do this move right, you get that little weight shift to the left, opening the body, shallowing out the shaft of the club, that's the piece that matters. Now, as you're doing that, let's actually just build on this. I'll leave this here. Let me put a, just a rubber ball. Again, this is like a little dollar store golf or a dollar store squishy ball. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the logo on this so that you can see it here in a second, kind of facing in front of my elbows. So if I was to grip this ball between my elbows and now take this club, what I'd be doing is I start that little shift is I'd be pointing that logo toward the camera or more toward the target. So as you see here, get this where I can get lined up here. As I start to shallow that club out, look how you can start to see that logo. So with my left elbow, I go more toward the target that way. Imagine if I had a, a hammer or something in my left arm, I wouldn't hit it like this with my elbow pointing down to the ground. That wouldn't be powerful. I'd wanna get that elbow out pointing toward there and then bam, I could really get some power with it. Same thing with my right arm. Imagine again, this is an ax and I'm trying to chop a hole in this wall. I'm gonna have that elbow tucked in, it's pointing toward the wall and then I could hammer the heck out of that wall. No problem at all punching a hole in it. That's the same thing that you're gonna feel when you're doing this. So again, I'm gonna put this between my elbows and notice how as I start that downswing move, I get that little, I get that little bump to the left. Now my elbows go to the target. Well, the only difference in what we're doing here in a golf swing we lose the red ball, I'll put this back under my foot again, is that in a golf swing, I'm just tilted forward. So I'm talking about swinging flat with the ground, tilt everything forward, let's do that same move. That's that little bump, shift to the left, getting that club shot out. If I'm looking at it from this direction, again, very intuitive. Here's that little bump, shift to the left, the club shallows in, it gets from the inside. Now, you get the shift down, we get the elbows coming in to drop that club in the slot. Now it makes a ton of sense how I can get that club coming in from there and feel very powerful, just like if I was gonna hit into this wall that way. 
The last piece now is releasing the club face. What almost everybody does when they do this move is they get in a great position, very athletic, very powerful. I'm getting my bump, I'm getting the lag, I'm making it much like a golf swing here, but the face is wide open and it's held off. Let's get your grip right to make sure that you can release the club properly. What I want you to do is go ahead and let your left hand hang down to your side and make a cup, a U with your fingers like this. So imagine you're holding something and you just curl up your fingers like that. I want my golf club to set in that angle. So it's gonna be in my fingers. I'm getting it very much in my fingers there. If I was to open up my hand, it would look like that across the grip. Now when I get that little stronger grip, the V in my thumb is gonna be pointing more to the right. I'm in a very powerful position to where now, once I get that lag, I can go ahead and release that hand. So if I'm coming towards you, the logo of my glove is now rotating so that it shows the glove logo to you. What I don't wanna do is I don't wanna get that little weight shift bump, logos out, and then drag it all the way on around. I wanna get that little bump, I'm in the slot, and from there, I have my hands in a way that I can present that logo down the fairway, and that's gonna make it very intuitive. Another way of filling this, not everybody's good with their left hand. Another way of filling this is with the right hand. I get my little bump in the slot here, and instead of leaving the right hand where I'm gonna present the golf ball up to the sky like that, I'm gonna turn my hand sideways, I'm gonna rotate it so that now my palm is facing the target. So if I was gonna make a little swing with just my right hand, I get the bump to shallow it out, and then from there, I have the palm toward the target. I don't have the palm toward the sky. That's the same thing with my left hand. The same deal with the logo of the glove on the left hand, that's the same motion. So as my logo turns toward the target, my palm turns toward the target also. Now, finally there, we're gonna put that together. And that's a really great move. Here's, here's everything together. We're gonna get a little weight shift. So let's start vertical. I get my little weight shift and my body opens. My elbows go to the target as I do that. And then as I rotate forward, I turn those hands and wrists to make that happen. I have to have my grip right. I have to have my grip in the fingers of my right hand too. I don't want it way up here in the palm or I won't be able to do that motion. But once I get that, now as I, I do a little bump, I turn to contact and my face is squared up. From there, all I'm doing is just tilting it down toward the ground. The same little athletic move, and now you can release that club. It just feels really good. It feels like there's it's a no-brainer. You're gonna be able to hit some great shots doing that. Let's go ahead and give another one a whirl here. There we go. Another straight shot, felt really good. Now, the piece of that that's intuitive, completely intuitive, is this little weight shift shallowing the club, getting the elbows to where you feel like they could hit into this wall very powerfully. I really haven't ever met anybody that does that, that says, ah, Clay, I just can't do it. The piece that throws most people for a loop is this palm of the hands turning the right way. And if you don't do that piece right, it doesn't make any difference to get in the powerful position. You're just gonna hit these big blocks that go a mile to the right. So I have another drill that's gonna help you to solidify this once and for all. It's called the tennis racket drill. And I'm gonna walk you through in much more detail than I did here, exactly how to use those hands and wrists to square up the face, to get it to release just like the tour players are doing it. All you need to do is go ahead and click on one of the cards that pops up somewhere on the screen. And if you don't see a card, don't worry, just go down to the description down below and click the link there. You'll get instant access to this tennis racket video. And I'm gonna show you exactly the pro way to use these wrists to make this a whole heck of a lot easier. Get that natural little shift and shallow. And then once you get the wrist angles down, hey, it's an easy golf game. Best of luck, I'll see you in the tennis racket drill. Good player problems. We're gonna talk about shallowing that club shaft out as we're starting down, as we're doing this rotating of the face that we worked, about, worked on in the last video. As we start this downswing, what you'll see with, with basically all uh, of the, the top players is instead of coming kind of over the top and letting the hands come out away from their body, letting the club come out away from their body, again, coming down steep into the ball and then having to open up, kind of fillet open the face and add loft to it, the flattening of the shaft should happen as soon as we start down. So as we start this downswing, what we wanna have happening here, you can imagine that if I draw a line from the 
hosel of my club up through my right elbow. That's my swing plane line, my elbow plane. As I go to the top of the swing, I'm going to be slightly above that. And then as I start down, I want my hands to start to shallow out. I want the club to shallow out inside of this elbow plane. And at the same time, I'm going to be rotating.